Yes, sir. My name is Eric Bellinger. What it do? I'm right here on 85 with the bando. Shawty bad, slim, big. She might drug, she might fix. And I'm all up in her mix. She be mixing with the rib. She the plug, she finesse. She the one they call the gold. She don't scratch, she don't trip. And she blow with all my bros. So if I gotta choose someone, then it must be her. She been here since day one. I guess I'm have to call her back. I guess I'm have to call her back. I guess we gon' have to go here, London, Paris, and the fucking A. I guess I'm have to call her back. I guess she got to scream my night Now every time that she go to the crib I'ma break her back like I break that A I guess I'm at the call her back 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 She the go, she the go She the go, she the go Greatest of all time, yeah, 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 yeah Gucci on all the time, yeah, 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 yeah She might and I'm all up in her mix. She be mixing with the ribs. She the one they call a go. And she fuck with all my bros. Yes, sir. Shady always a lady and you are watching Eric Bellinger on 85. Now what I'm about to make y'all is a drink for one of my favorite artists. I got a big fat crush on you Eric Bellinger. The name of this drink is called the Bellinger. I happen to know that his Starbucks order is a medicine ball with double lemonade. So here's what I got for you. Don Julio always, we always start with a little bit of Don because Don makes everybody smile. You know he's a great man. Then you add your lemonade. Very Southern, you know, cause I'm a Southern belle, like they say. Little iced tea, cause ain't nothing ever go wrong with having some iced tea. My mama used to call this a flip flop. You know, the other people call it an Arnold Palmer. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta add you some agave, because nothing ever goes wrong with agave. Fresh squeezed lemon. Fresh squeezed lemon. I don't want to hear nothing about that lemon juice. None of that. I don't want that. Go up in that kitchen and cut that lemon. Wash it first, okay? Then you're going to shake it up. Pour and serve. Back to 85. Next song is called Obsession. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's an obsession. Just a reflection of things we both know. I can't let you go. It seems like all of the seconds feel like minutes. All of the hours feel like days. Don't be too long And don't take it wrong It's an obsession You ain't nothing like I thought you was You my left and right You my all above You got character And nothing compares to you No, you've been All that I needed More than I was completed Don't you get too conceited and that's where I gotta leave it Cause I don't want you to think I'm crazy For loving you 
Doing everything I said I'd do oh, oh, Just to be true Yeah, 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 yeah That I can't let you go All of the seconds feel like minutes All of the hours feel like days yeah, yeah. It's an obsession, baby Let me take my time Kissing on your spine Whoa. Teasing me You to think I'm crazy but loving you Doing everything I said I'd do Yeah, yeah Just to be sure Yeah, yeah, yeah Of things Like minutes all of the hours feel like they Don't be too long And don't take it wrong It's an obsession You just seen him. You just seen Eric Bellinger on the 85 stage going crazy. Oh, man. Sign the ladies me. going crazy. The pen game is strong. Before we started, you said your pen stay in the gym. Pen so we got to give you the quote, man. Like, yeah. Pen stay in the gym with a tough regimen. Yeah. Come yeah. on, oh, man. No, man. Come on, man. Glad to have you here, bro. One clap, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Thank y'all, thank y'all, yeah. man. Appreciate it. That was love, vibe. It's crazy in there. Man, Compton. Yes. Where you from? Yes, sir. Let, let's get into it, man. How the musical journey start, just for the people yeah, out there. Yeah, man. Like, when um, I when I think Compton, and then you immediately say music, I think of my musical experiences actually in Compton. You know, because of course you have. You know, when you start doing your thing, you make it to in LA. You go to Sunset, and right. you know what I mean. That's like Hollywood, right? that's when you start. Yeah, yeah. How, that's when you in like the big sessions. But when I think back of the sessions in Compton, they was all like it was in a garage. It was in the living room. Was saying everybody be quiet. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. So man, it to to come now and to think back, not knowing what the future would be. It's a big, 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 big journey of accomplishment and victory in my eyes. Absolutely, Big man. victory. It's a big, man, come on, man. Big you victory. You on some of the biggest stages, music. You Literally. got the ladies going crazy. Thank you, bro. Making that, the best records. Cause that's I what they know. consistently say. That's what we want, yeah. Whenever, like, when did you realize, like, when you wrote something, you was like, oh, hey, I'm pretty <laughs> fucking good. <laughs> like, when did you write it, you was like, yeah, I can really do this. Yeah. Like, what was the first thing that you wrote, like, your first song that you... Wrote that was good. You know, the, the first couple songs, I didn't know if they was good or not. Right. You know, I, I started off singing in church, so the voice part was just, okay, I, I knew how to sing. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I could make Pink Butter and Jelly sound good. Right. <laughs> you know what right. I'm saying? So writing the songs, enjoying, enjoying um, poetry in school and, and writing poems, and combining the two, I just didn't know if they was good or mm -hmm. I just, you know what I mean? Until later, I was like, oh, they wasn't good. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. But I you started, talking about your earlier My earlier, okay, yeah, yeah, my yeah. earlier song, it was just like, you can't do no wrong, and I love your song. You came along with it. You came along with it. It was like, oh, 
Exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I didn't have I didn't have too many people to say that's right, that's wrong. Okay. Right, right. So I just coasted. Right. You know what I mean? And just developed over And time. developed until it was like, what is that? And like, oh, that's hard? Mm. Oh, okay, okay. Just so are you like strict in the studio now? So like when newcomers come in, you yeah. kind of hard on them? Are you kind of like be understanding? Nah, nah, I'm not hard on them unless the note is wrong. Oh. Okay. If the note is wrong. Because bitches be flat. Back. Yeah, nah, but I'm going to still too. tell you in such a gentle way that okay. you're going to be encouraged. Got you. Throughout. I'm not going to bash. I'm just going to be like, hey, that was almost it. Try it like this, you gotcha. know, but I'm not. There's ways to coach people. When you tell them it's not almost it, it's yeah. not the same uh -huh. as saying, hey, man, what the fuck? Yeah. Is this? <laughs> bro, you super trash, bro. You ain't hey, the time. Hey, you <laughs> super trash, bro. Yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's why it is a little different. This is what I'm talking yeah. about. I would never. Yeah. <laughs> you have a guy for that? Yeah. Yeah. Yo, tell him, bro. Tell him, like, tell him you telling me trash. Nah, bro. you know what it is? I got the patience of Joe. My patience is crazy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just keep saying, do it again. Like, right. I'm the most optimistic. I'm the most, like, that's just how I was brought up, you know what I mean? Uh, in a in a in a household of faith, you know what okay, I mean? Yeah. And I think it translated to every aspect of my life, you know, when it comes to me doing something right or even someone else and me encouraging them. Like, right. I'm I'm the most positive. It's crazy. Do you prefer to work alone or do you prefer the collaborations? Um, it depends. Sometimes it's sometimes I like to do it by myself if I feel like. I don't want to be interrupted, and I know I got something that can't nobody really understand yet. You get in your zone, right? Yeah, yeah. I like to be alone. I like the dark lights out, you know what I mean? Candles, real, real zen, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Lasers in the room, all the, every, everything you can get on Amazon, you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. all in there. Yeah, yeah. you want it all. It's all in you want the lasers, yeah. bro. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how you like that shit. Yeah. Lasers in the I studio. Need those lasers in the studio. <laughs> hey, next motherfucker shine that laser in my eye. Just get fucking fired. I mean, Put your trash in. <laughs> We're just trash. Hey, you're super trash. My wife's super trash. My wife. Don't worry about the lasers. No. Exactly. I need the vibes going. And, you know, it comes a time, though, when it's, when it's uh, a, a necessary, you know, to have more more people in the room you know what i'm saying yeah. like all right cool which i think this is my idea but i do like to get an idea across and present it you know what i'm saying just yeah. to you know get opinions but you know either way we can rock it i actually have a business question so when you're in these these groups right do when you're doing like splits with writers and everything do mm -hmm. y'all come in and say because some people really be petty about that shit bro yeah, and they be like yeah. man look that 2.5 points is mine or yeah. do you do it like everybody in the room just bust it down even i'll be i'll be busting it down even as far as right inside yeah I know it's a lot of people that, you know, do it different with 50% for the producers or 50% for the writers, but some people just split it down the middle. Like, yeah. if it's three people, it's 33, 33, 33, as opposed to if it's one producer getting 50 and the two writers getting 25, 25, you know? Mm -hmm. But everybody does it different. Me, my, myself, I just separated the two, um, coming up more so on the writing side, and I just got 50 to work with in my mind, and yeah. the other producer, you get the other 50, but you know, that's some business that you gotta know automatically going in, because if you're just going in there making beats and you know, you're not really too knowledgeable, you can either get taken advantage of and not know it, hmm. or you know, a lot really of niggas learn the hard way. <laughs> really right, that. right, man. Talking on the writing side, like, um, how does that work? Do they come to you? Are, I mean, now that you know, but how did you get it out there? Was it yeah. you making your own music and people just like mm -hmm. hearing it and they wanted it? Or yeah, so I was <clears throat> so I started off immediately singing groups, R and B group. I was in like four groups. I would say before I was like ah. You was bro, dancing. Let me do it on my. What? <laughs> you was in the oh, let's go. Let's go. Long time ago, that was what? Blue C. That was back in my heyday. Give us, give us like the, 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 the time period. It was the year. So this we is can 2004, put it 2005, okay. 2006, so this like, early 2000s. That was that long ago. <laughs> R&B group. Okay. That's like off B2K. That was, yeah, right that, off that B2K. Was, okay. yeah. Yeah. They sparked a lot. Right. I yeah. know that's yeah. right. <laughs> they they <laughs> really was dancing. They did it. 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 They did Oh, you gotta let's start a group, you know, like anybody around me, if they can sing a tiny bit, let's start a group. <laughs> yeah, you can really sing. <laughs> I know it's <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> like, 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 like
<laughs> if I get behind this nigga, it'd be like, ooh, I can sound like I'm doing so. <laughs> so he was like, you know what I mean, really on it. But I was cool because I used, I grew up playing football. So I'm with the team energy. Okay. I'm with the camaraderie, the brotherhood. Mm -hmm. That's more comfortable. So I feel like that was a nice transition for me to football, to being in a group to where I'm not a solo artist so yeah, fast. Yeah. You know, but then after that, phased out um, and had his moment. I just was songwriting first, got into the songwriting, and then when I was doing songs for other people, it was to the point where people was like, A&Rs that I'm sending it to for their artists, like, why you not dropping these? Mm. Why you not putting out no mixtapes or albums? And I just was like, I don't know, I'm just writing songs. Right. And then I dropped the project Born to Sing. 2010. It's been on ever since. That's my first. Yeah, it's been on ever yeah. since. Yeah. Because that, that pipeline from uh, songwriter to actual artist is hard. Mm -hmm. You know, like, so talk about navigating that. Yeah. Because, you know, we only see a couple of artists that can really do that mm -hmm. and make bomb music. Because I know a lot yeah. of times, look, we ain't going to name drop today. <laughs> but sometimes I'll be like, man, this is a songwriter I love. And then they drop music. I'll be like, what the hell? Yeah. Boy? Yeah. So <laughs> talk, about, yeah. talk about that transition of being a songwriter to yeah. actual artist. Artist. Yeah, that's that's big, you know, because as a songwriter and an artist, it's two totally different yes, things. Like yes. that's two totally different monsters. And I feel like with the songwriting, you can make a song, you can be in your basement, nobody has to ever see you. Cool, you can write a hit. Thank you, we appreciate it. Mm -hmm. But as an artist, it's so many different pieces to the pie. Right. right. You gotta you be a brand. Yeah. 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 You gotta be a brand, and people don't understand that. And I, I look at it like if you just think you could drop something and it's gonna go, you you lying to yourself. Mm -hmm. You're wasting your time. The producers, the engineers, everybody around you. Did, nigga did your artwork. Right. You're wasting everybody's time. The nigga on the lasers. The nigga right. that's right. 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 the right. right. laser. Who got the password? Right. 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 So, you know what I mean? Like, you really, uh, you really have to, to know, okay, boom, I need my photo shoots to not only be crispy, but next level. Right. I need the, the you know, the, the, the photographer, I need the, the, the producers, the engineer. You have to have so many things in order, marketing plans, um, artwork, and the graphic, and why does it look like that, and why is that your color that you're going with? Mm -hmm. What? We need to go to the color? Yes, yeah. because the colors actually have meaning too. You know what I'm saying? Right, like right. it's just so deep that it people don't respect the game as much and it shows. So even so a lot of that you had to learn on the way too, because you were yeah. independent, right? So you were yeah. like independent still, with still always still independent, right? Oh, yeah. So talk about that decision, right? Because I know a lot of people don't have the um they don't have the balls really or yeah. the hustle to stay independent because it takes a lot. You know what I'm saying? They do. What, what made you decide more? to, to Go independent. Freedom. Do what I want. Mm -hmm. I make music a lot, a lot, a lot. I have so much. And to to have to go with someone else's vision, I think that would be damaging to the legacy that I will be leaving behind. It's, you got a big it one can't there. be left up to man because gotcha. it might be altered because of money. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to the art, gotcha. which lasts forever. Money yeah. doesn't in my mind. So I do, I want to talk about the Grammys for a little bit. Yeah. Because I feel like the way people kind of view Grammys now, like growing up it was like, oh my gosh, this person has a Grammy. Yeah. And now how like, it's kind of like split. Like half the industry is like, okay, it still means something to have a Grammy. And mm -hmm. then the other half is kind of like, oh, it don't mean nothing. Yeah. So how was it for you, like after you got that Grammy win and how things changed for you mm -hmm. and how you do the Grammys now? Yeah. Um, I look at the Grammys like they are the ultimate um, achievement and prestigious music, mm -hmm. period. Some people want to compete in the NBA, and some are cool with the D League and the G League. Mm -hmm. right. And if you don't care about it, cool. But people like LeBron with that Kobe energy, they yeah. just want it. Right. You don't have to have anything, whether it's the Stellar Award. Right, right. You feel yeah. me? Like, yeah. But that's just the highest that, that we've deemed. Mm -hmm. And I feel like my music is great enough to be there. I'm not going to make no excuses for nobody. Right. Play the game or mm -hmm. don't. Right. And you know you can make an excuse and be like we don't care about the Grammys, which is like y'all care. Y'all care. You, 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 you,
the next week. I'm telling you. You know, I thought about it on second thought. <laughs> I know That's I didn't fuck with Jeremy. They'd be sipping out that bitch. I'm telling you. Like, don't get it twisted. Stop playing with the world. I get the right. antics behind right. it. It's like, you can't lie. Like, y'all care about the Grammys. Like, stop it. Stop it. Because if you got it, nominated, I'll... everything was changed. You're going to be like, oh. Your entire narrative yes. is all of a sudden, so we got to do the Grammy Museum. <laughs> I ain't care about them. Then I found out you could win them for comedy. Uh-oh. Yeah. I'm, it's we coming. Need that. I like that. We need that for Clinton. Uh, we need that. You know, they got spoke. Obama got a Grammy. I know. That's crazy, right? Spoke right. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. That shit real, man. When man. Diddy, um, mm -hmm. so, like, recently Diddy did that, that whole R&B writer's camp he was doing. Did you get to go to that? Yeah, 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 yeah. How was that? Because you were, like, with everybody, really, like, the best of the best, like, the all-star team. Yeah, it turned it upside down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, you did. It's crazy, different though when you walk in the room though, because it's like it's Eric. Like, because yeah. my friend, like, yeah. he, we have a uh, mutual friend, and she's in the industry, and she told me about how writing camps are. Yeah. So I know when you walk in the room, it's different. Like people probably be like, oh shit, like Eric here. Get your, get your yeah. Like, what's the pen? What? The pen what? With the gym? Keep your pen the in, in the right. gym. Yeah. Right. Right. The right. pen been, been in the gym. <laughs> right. 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 Yeah, better step it up, everybody. Nah, nah. Take that's up. the thing. Like, I want to be known for that. Even when I go to a camp and I lead a camp. The people in me with the first day is like, so what how do these things work? Like what should I said, write the hardest song here, the so hardest song here, period. Mm -hmm. And then everybody gonna be talking about your song and your name is gonna be promoted along with the song. Mm -hmm. So I'm going hammer, I'm swinging so hard. Mm -hmm. I'm not going in there doing the normal shit that I do when I'm at this. I'm really giving you the hit. Yeah. I'm yeah. not playing. So ain't no album like colors it. over here. No. Yeah, you're not, you're not <laughs> I'm just not playing. putting some in. Yeah. <laughs> right. You know, no. Do you feel like pressure, though, or are you just walking like, oh, this light work? No. Did you see Steph shoot the ball from the bleachers and turn around? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so this nigga right quick <laughs> talking. <laughs> It's that. It's Press it up. Okay. But that <laughs> makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. I'm not playing. I'm not playing. You know, I'm talking different when I'm talking about the pen. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? You but, don't even see me going hard like this when it's about my artistry. I took it. I chill. Like, I'm a student. I got to make sure, like, mm -hmm. it's accomplishment. It's things I want to do. But when it comes to writing, I just know, like, I'm telling stories that are given to me from above. Mm. And I'm just spitting them out. I'm a vessel. And now my melodic sense is automatically going to kick in from church singing at three. My sensibility of street er, edge element is going to kick in from growing up in Compton. Mm. Right. It's like, it's so many things. And it's my, also my knowledge of studying music, studying Michael Jackson, Prince, Drew Hill, Jagged Edge, Lauryn Hill, 112. Oh, Come on. That's who you yeah. pulling from. The resume. Yeah, that's, so that's who, who I'm pulling, pulling from. Yeah. And you started in the church. And that's, as of late, I've been starting to see that city to be the key for the people yes. that actually sang. Yeah. It's yeah. the difference yeah. between like, so singers and singers. Come on, let me give you Kim Morrell. Let me give you Fred Hammond. Let me give you Kiki Shepard. Let Come me on, give you, man. you feel me, Kiki Shepard. What? They sang. sang. Mm -hmm. So when you yeah. listen to that, it's your intake. Right. Your outtake is your intake. Mm. Oh, that's a bar. Ooh. He's still doing it. I'm not bar, no bar. This nigga's writing right now, bro. <laughs> I, look, I don't write that's that about still, right. I got a song right, right now yeah. for the drop. Output. My bad, your output is your input. Same thing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. The best writers seem like they have, like, the illest lives, too, because you do have to pull from life experiences, right? Mm -hmm. So do you, like, the studio rats that always stay in the studio and yeah. write, yeah. I feel like sometimes maybe they're not as good because they're not living, so they don't have experiences to write about? Mm -hmm. You agree with that? Yeah, I think so, because um, you got to get outside, you got to live. You know, a lot of my bars might come from being in a country that is normal over there. And I don't even, you know what I mean? We don't even know about it. It's right. like, oh, okay, cool, let me just throw the cenote in the song. And people are like, what's the cenote? Like, you know what a cenote is? It's like, oh. I don't know what's going on. I'm like, I thought that was a little pool. We put that in your coffee? Look, the little pool that you. I thought he was talking about the Sinesta. Like, I said, 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 I said
Yeah. Yeah. I was. You, you be outside? Hello? Yeah. When you know? said pool, I didn't know if you meant real pool. Well, no, the, like, yeah, the, yeah, it's yeah. like a little pool. Yeah, under, okay. yeah like I've sun, been in a sun. No, I never been in a sun. Let's go. Let's go. I'm playing on That's what I'm saying. You got to. You just want to strengthen the pride. Okay. Got you. And then now you're writing different things. You're hearing. I go to. I'm going to Atlanta this weekend. Yeah. And I'm hearing the music. Yeah. You're writing different things. You're hearing. I go to Dubai and the music is. You know what I'm saying? It's different. Not you hit that whole low key. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Though? So now my cadence, my, I might, I might experiment, experiment with something different. But I got the reference point of, you know, a catchy Fred Hammond song right. that's also spiritual. But I'm a pull from the melody. Like, man, it's, it's just my, cool. my mind that's has a lot. lot in it. So now it's easier to yeah. write. Yeah. How did you get artists to like trust you? Because I know mm -hmm. sometimes y'all go in the studio, they probably like. Eric, this ain't it. And you be like, nah, this is it. Yeah. And then it ended up being a smash. Yeah, yeah, So how yeah. did you build that trust with artists? <sighs> you have to show and prove. I have to, you know, I have to drop, Chris Brown just dropped Fine China. So they're coming to me, and they're going to say... Not you, Lo. You, you just flicked on us. No, <laughs> I had to learn. Right. Like there was an opposite time, for example, <laughs> I'm in the studio with my favorite singer ever of all times, Brandy. She's singing. She asking me, how was that? Incredible. Right. Yeah. She does another thing. A vocal How piece. Is that? It can't get any better. Next. Right. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And she had to be like, hey, yo, yo, yo. Yeah. You got to step out of fan mode, dog. Right. right. Yeah. I called you here because I love what you do, too. Mm. You're in the building. Let me know if right. I'm flat. Let me know. Boom, 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 boom. That shook me up. And then it was after that, I'm like, you know, you could get that a little better. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, can you give me one more pump of the vibrato yeah. at the end? You know what yeah. I mean? Like, it challenged me and, and let me know. So there's been life experiences, you know, so I don't want to just give the now version, the new. This is the this is the best version of me that I've mm. ever been. Right. So I'm giving you the answers that are right now. We are top tier, everything. Period. But there was a time when I wasn't so sure. Right. And I feel like the experiences of success, they're going to hit, they're going to hit. Now you can believe me. I can't just be like, trust me. Yeah, you got to track yeah. record. You got to yeah. say, yeah, the last one I did. Mm. Oh, yeah, right. the last one I did after that, because it was not a one-hit wonder. It wasn't a fluke. I did it again and again. Right. Now they can trust you. Now Love I can that. create freely. There's no friction in the studio. We're calling you because we want what you do. Right. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's hard. Anybody you had friction with or that was just harder to work with. Let's this. get to the T. Yeah. Come on, Clay. No, no, Come on, Clay. The T is hard. But look, but look, this Don't try to bring me in on the T. Hey, no, this situation is not, it's not bad. Do. Yeah. It's, but the dude is probably the best singer in the world. You know what I mean? Like, one of the craziest. So when I was, like, saying it was good, he was unsure if it was good or not. You know what I'm saying? He just kept wanting to do it again. And I think that was the longest session, but it was surprisingly with one of the most talented. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. So that was a, a weird one. Right. But yeah. So you just performed Obsession. Mm hmm. Song is fire. Amazing. <laughs> Thank like, you. it's like sometimes when you hear something, you just know, like, this, this the one. Yeah. Like, that's the one right there now. <laughs> that's the one. I got no end now. Okay. Yeah. So it was produced by Hitmaker. Yeah. So since we get to the T. Yeah. No, we just stop looking at me. Well, <laughs> you, you dropped the tea. I'm not the tea. I'm not the tea. I'm not the tea. I'm not the tea. The tea man is in the building. <laughs> <All right, get laughs> you open the door for me now. No, I'm, I'm, I'm Mr. Lipton. Yeah. No, no, no. Come on, Lipton. Right, no. <laughs> okay, so Hitmaker produced yeah. Obsession. Yes. So I just was on the gram and I see Hitmaker. And Hit Boy going back and forth. Mm -hmm. They going a little, a little, you know, one two with the memes being funny. Yeah. So who is your favorite producer out of those two? Well, my favorite producer to work with is Hitmaker. Okay. Um, I have a different type of working regimen with him. Like when we get in, we zoom. We right. get in, we sing, we zoom, we boom, mm -hmm. we bomb. Hit Boy is my boy from back in the day. We grew up same city, you know what I mean? Got so you. his family, and I love what he does, but we haven't got the same type of connection for whatever reason. Because it's about chemistry as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Fair enough. You know, I had to know the tea, Mr. Lipton. <laughs> I, I got to tell you. I got you the tea, Lipton. You never bring me in on the tea. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you get on the shade room. Exactly. <laughs> 
It's like, it's like I have a female on the show. Nah, hey, 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 but the right. truth could never hurt you. No, yeah. hey. At all, because, I mean, they're both fire. Yeah, they fire, for sure. It's just, you know, nah, yeah. whatever you And they both going crazy for Yeah, they are. No, they are. They both going fire. In two different directions. I'm just talking about me personally and my experiences, but if I'm talking about the songs that he done did out there, it's like, them mugs is boys. Yeah. You feel me? Like, you ain't questioning that. You know what I mean? So, it's just like, yo, they different type of producers. Like when you think about Aretha Franklin and Whitney Houston, they totally different. Right, right. exactly. They, like these two is totally different. Like Hit Boy gonna be on the keys. He gonna you know go crazy. He gonna pull up a sound. He gonna pull up a sample. But Hitmaker gonna walk out that room and you gonna not know how magic happened. Mm. Right. You not gonna know. It's like what right. happened? Right. I don't know. Another one. <laughs> <laughs> another one. I don't know what happened. <laughs> yeah, I'm at the next studio. You know what I'm saying? They're totally different. They're right. totally different. That's cool. Yeah, the project is going crazy, too. What made you, you did something I thought that was dope. You made CDs yeah. for this project, yeah. right? What made you think to do that, man? I thought that was dope. Yeah, because we wanted to do, like, the energy of it all is 90s vibes. It's like old school throwback vibes. So we wanted to have some type of element, but not necessarily as far as vintage, like, you know what I mean? Like, cassette tapes, it was tough. Like, right. <laughs> I didn't think everybody like, was... That's a little right. throwback. Yeah. Right. I want to old school was good. Right. 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 We're going to do that, but we wanted to still represent that, you know what I mean? In yeah. the videos and in the photos, I'm doing leather. I'm leather down. I know that's right. Hold on, man. Hold on, man. You leather down. I'm leather down. It's real R&B. Oh, man. You know what I'm saying? but you can Do the gloves have fingers on them or with or without fingers? Ah. It's level definitely city. fingers inside the glass. Inside the glass. <laughs> yeah, inside yeah, the glass. Yeah, yeah. That's so deep, Mike. Yeah. You can get confused. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is R&B, baby. Did <laughs> you have the fan blowing? Fan was blowing. Oh, okay. yes, that's my thing. Okay, he, he had the fan, fan blowing. Okay. Fan. Hey, but take it back to that. Like, yeah, that's what's kind of been missing, man. Yeah. So, it, like, what made you, is that, is that kind of what you came up on, or are you just like, this is what R&B needs to get back yeah. to? Yeah, a lot of people say it's missing, and you know, I don't think it's missing. I think it's a million incredible R&B artists out there going crazy, but I felt like, all right, I'm about to give it the element. I'm really going to go with the melodies, like I'm going to sing, you know, I'm going to, it's going to be visually what I, what I would portray, portray the evolution of classic. Mm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Now, I'm going to tell you the music Eric made. Eric made, remember we was young and you had an answer machine and you had your voicemail. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you yeah. played music in yeah. the yeah. background and shit. That's what right. it's giving. That's what you That's the type of music he made, bro. You're going to let, you let the hardest little part play. You're going to let the little hook play, the little bridge. Yeah. Yep. And then you're gonna jump in on that bitch. Yeah. Hey. hey. There you go. And you gotta do it like 10 times when you get it right. She's like, oh, fuck up, man. Oh, what are you doing? That don't make a voice crack or what? Hey! You gotta start your own show. Take it off. Hold on, run it back. Run it back. Put the lasers on that shit. That's the lasers. Okay, so talk about the new RB. Like, what are some new artists out here that you really like that you could, like, okay, I'm co signing them? Like, they making yeah. the good music. Mm, man. So, I got this artist named Asia. Okay. She cold. She got a project out. It's called Therapy, Volume Therapy. 1. Okay. She's from Detroit. Let's go. Fire artist, R&B artist, and, yeah, I think she's one of them. Another one that I really like, um, I'm trying to think, Upstairs. I never heard of that. He hard. He from at he from Atlanta. He from R&B. Here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He's he the dope ass name. Upstairs. Upstairs. Yeah. And he spell it like U P S T. You know R Z. Like oh, they, got you gotta get creative now. He got, can't be. Listen. <laughs> oh, you gotta he spell it. his shit like some stairs. <laughs> okay. Look. look <laughs> it go, his <laughs> signature. <laughs> it going up. <laughs> okay. Got gotcha. you. It go going up. What about y'all? I like yeah. it. What artist y'all got? That y'all the new R and B. Yeah, new R and B. Mm. I don't know. I need to be put on. I'm gonna go check it out. Both okay. Guys. I still yeah. listen to all the old niggas for real. I'm, I'm stuck yeah. in the past. Like nah, I'm the '90s type of nigga. Got you know you. what I mean? Like, cause a lot of this, he, I'm telling. We said with the other guy, the R&B niggas be trying to be rappers. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They be so. talk. I'm ready to hear some like. That's why I said I love that song, Obsession. I want to hear about people being in love. Yeah. Yeah. I want to hear about like how you, how you begging. <laughs> 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 I want to hear about how like 
we need to get back to begging. You want to be Let's, stalked? Yes. You want stalker music? Yes, I want, music, yes, I want yeah. that stalker That's music. When Daniel Jones out the wi- outside yes. the window and she's singing. Right. There's an artist that <laughs> I really stalking like. in the video clip. I love it. Stalking, bro. I love right. it. I feel like that's what we need to get back to because even rappers was rapping about that back Sweet in the day. Sweetie Doodle D. Yeah. Hello. They was doing it. You know what I'm saying? Um, there's a new artist that I found. Her name is Jalen Josie. Mm-hmm. She's opening for Ari Lennox right now, and when I tell you, she is so dope. Nice. Yeah. Like I love it, and it's like it's crazy because you see these people and they're so good and they're so creative it's like how does the world not nobody know about heard of them yeah. but that just shows you how the the industry is now just in general with anything creating any kind of entertainment because mm-hmm. people want to be entertained really quick they want something mm-hmm. and then it's like because you remember when artists used to drop music you would have to wait three four years in between albums now if an artist drops something three months later they're like okay where's the next single right. yeah. where's right, the next right. song they ready they're not yeah. giving people time to really create mm-hmm. magic. Yeah. You know what else, too? I think R&B is harder to push than <laughs> what? rap. You know oh, what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you got to really work them records. Yeah. Well, you got to encourage people to, like, seek new artists. Yeah. It ain't, it, you know, they, a lot of times r and is not getting that push. It's not mm-hmm. getting to the forefront. You're right. And you got so many people that sit around and complain about what they don't like, but if you ain't actively checking out new exactly. people, like, yeah. like, like people want to complain about what's going on, but never want to look for the shit they say they like. Yeah, it and might so be too much music too. Like even as a DJ, I'd be like, man, listen, I lot. can't keep up with all this it's shit. It's a lot. It's a lot. It's hard. What makes something pop out to you as a DJ? Like, ooh, I want to play this. It's like with being flooded with so many people, play my song. That is the hardest part. But right. you know what? Like the hits always rise to the top. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of times, or for me, is work ethic. Yeah. Like, sometimes it's like, you'll hear a name. Like, she said that artist's name, right? If I hear that name again next week, mm-hmm. I'm on it. I'm like, it got to be hot. Especially women. Like, okay, right. this is what people don't realize. Like, especially, like, in the clubs, women are the A&Rs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whether it's rap or R&B yeah. and anything. So once the girls, like, a 22-year-old girl is going to tell me what's popular. I'm not knocking him by saying this, but he is strip club DJ. Yeah. Yeah. Hell, so, the strip club so, DJ so, no, be I'm different actually, now. I, yeah, I'm actually yeah. elevating the status yeah, yeah. here mm-hmm. in the city of Atlanta. Like you said, the women, like, yeah. so do they, if they come to you and keep asking you about some shit you That's ain't how heard. I know, bro. Right. Mm-hmm. Every time. Right. They're like, you ain't got this? Yeah, I got it. Right. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. so yeah, a, a lot I of times you. that's how it happens. Yeah, where's my show? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I ain't gonna knock that. Wait, wait, I'll say this. Rich <laughs> DJs on live shows, I be like, Rich, play that shit. Rich, just play some shit. I'm like, bitch. Yeah. I wasn't just, re- I wasn't just <laughs> relegate them to a strip club DJ, yeah. but I was yeah. saying it to yeah. me. Nah, just to say, yo, this is the hottest. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. I'll be on point with it. You gotta be, though. You know what I'm saying? But the girls, they always tell me what's hot first. That's why I think R&B is such a dope genre because really they don't even ask for that type of stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like these younger girls, mm-hmm. they want Pooh Shiesty and NBA yeah. Youngboy. I'm like, y'all, y'all, That's they even be on dancing on stage like, yeah, bah, yeah. Bah, bah, yeah. Bah, bah, bah. You are not sexy. You're scared. Yeah. Yeah. Customers. I didn't do some money. Yeah. You just did this to me. I'm with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Hey, I don't want to see that either. Hey, Beaches, hey, get your ass off the goddamn stage. Hey, 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 Look, I, look, y'all know I don't hide my age. I'm 33. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I'm an R&B stan. That's why I'm so glad that Come you on. said that Brandy, because yeah. that is a vocal god. Listen. So when people try to play with Brandy, I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, you don't really know. Oh, you don't know. That tone is different. Yeah, it is. That, mm-hmm. that, what she can do in the studio is different. I remember I was probably like in college, and this is when YouTube was like, you know, popping. It, it yeah. started when I was in high school, but I remember... She had recorded something, um, what's his name, with Pooh Bear. And then somebody oh, yeah. had recorded on the camera. It was so grainy, but you could hear her singing. I was like. Just the raw, yeah. Just the mm-hmm. raw, like. So I'll say for a woman, what we hear first is um, we hear melody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Something that, that we can feel like it's a vibe. And like, mm-hmm. we gonna ca- we hear the melody first. Then we're going to go back and listen to the lyrics. Mm-hmm. Oh, what is this person saying? And we're like, oh, shit, this nigga just did this to me last week. Like, mm-hmm. I'm about to cry. Right. About, but the melody is first. Mm. If it's a catchy melody, yeah. we gonna ride it. So okay, back melody, to lyrics, melody, lyrics, and then probably the beat. The beat come first, I think, for dudes. A lot of yeah, like, I think it does. The beat and then we decide. Like, yeah, like, but now this is for rap. But it's different though because for rap, if we're listening, if we're listening to rap now, if we, I can shake my ass to it, I don't care. Is that doom? Yeah, that doom, 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 doom. Well, you got the right kind of ass to do that too. And some ass don't be, some ass don't be. Some ass be high. Lex got one of them asses. Hey, I'ma make a swing, y'all. And do. And do. 
Shut up. 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 Shut I said it on the knees. We had a tongue out when he did it. But this nigga perfect. Don't hurt me. Nah, that's too far. It really is. It really is. It really is. It really is. Hold on. Before we get out of here, please tell the people where we can get your mute. Of course they know what to get it, but what should they be looking out from you for right now? Man, this is going to drop, well, a few. In the future? <laughs> so, in the future, all right. <laughs> yes. Huh? Future tense. Right, yeah. cool. Okay, so yeah. we're talking like we're in the future yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. So this it's shit already, already platinum. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we're going on this two. Platinum. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, we creeping up on another Grammy. Yeah. I know that's oh. Yeah, yeah, we got Ooh. more Grammys coming. You know, I stay cool. in the studio always working. And um, yeah, man, I got more albums coming. I'm building my label, you know, All Wins Entertainment. All Wins. All Wins. All Wins. All wins. And, um, Film and television. All right, check oh, out. Oh, um, okay. You said Asia? Asia, yeah, man. Upstairs? Asia, upstairs. Man, check them out. Uh, bro dudes. The bro dudes. Bro dudes. Me <laughs> and my son, you know, we got the little YouTube channel booming. Oh, love that. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go. You know, that's all we be watching at home is other people. Right. And well, I, I make what? movies. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm like, yo, you know we can do this, right? <laughs> he like, we can't? <laughs> I got to check you out. I need He's to watch eight. my like son. He's Five. eight. Yeah. He's eight. Yeah. Okay. We just dropped the first episode on his birthday that Monday. That is so cute. And then, awesome. man, we already filmed the next one, so part two going to be coming real soon. The I like bro the dudes. Names. Thank yeah. you. Bro I love dudes. that. He yeah. came up with the name. He came up with the theme song. He's eight years old. Awesome. I said, yo, Eli, what's up? You want to use my YouTube? I got 500,000 subscribers. Ooh. I said, or you want to start over and do your own from zero? I want to start over. Oh, yeah. He already he, real. Man. I said, oh, well, let's go. So the Instagram is The Bell. I mean, the YouTube is The Bellinger. So the check Bellinger. out The oh. Bellingers. It's like, or at The Bellingers. And you can check out The Bro Dudes or TheBroDudes.com. And yeah, man, EricBellinger.com for anything me. Um, Instagram.com slash Eric Bellinger. YouTube. Um, Twitter.com. Eric Bellinger. And yeah, man, check out the music. 1-800-HIT-EASY-LINE-2 is the most recent. And that's one of my favorite albums that I've ever released. So listen to it. Listen to the story from beginning to end. And yeah, man, that's okay. it. Oh, we got a gift for you, too, before you leave, bro. We love oh, you, yeah, yeah, man. Come on, we're back. Right. back. Right. back. Yeah. Hey, and man, look, come back anytime. For sure. You know right. this, do not let this be your last time. Just to, you know, try. And real yeah. quick, before you go, yeah. I do have this question. Because you've worked with the greats, the greats. Come on. One artist you haven't worked with yet that yeah. you want to work with. One, one name, mm. real quick. Kendrick Lamar. Ooh. ooh that's a, ooh. Let's go. Contra. Yeah. All Contra. right, look. Now we <laughs> set, we put it in the universe. Boom. Yeah. yeah. By the Don't time this drop, Boom they did something. Done. Uh -huh. He gonna call you like, it's We're Kendrick like Lamar. Yeah. He gonna be like, <laughs> 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 All right, thank y'all. Hey, man, Eric you. Yes, sir. Hey, bye. 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 Rich, Clay Davis. Hey. <laughs>
you bring me closer. Hey, I love when the feeling feel like it's posted. You know all my exes that tell you I would've ghosted. Hey, it's so sick. I'm one of those kids. Show me love, it be the same thing. One, but it's a two-way street Open up, you say you won't judge me I, I can't tell that you're you